guys. Everything is pretty much dying here in this mall. Um, soda machine is gone. Um, I heard that this place was condemned. Um, so there was a soda machine here, and it is gone. Uh, the games are still here for the time being. And there's not many places left in this building. This is all blocked off. And as you can see, they've been doing something in there, but, uh, that's kind of what it looks like now. It's just an empty lot, or empty building. And then over here, the only, really the only place left is Bath and Body Works. There's some more games that's still here. And again, Lord only knows how long they'll be here. Like I said, this place was, I heard this place was condemned. There was a soda machine here, right here in front of this pole. And it's gone. <laughs> so, right here is where the soda machine used to sit, as you can see. The discoloration in the floor where it was sitting. And then these guys are left behind here. Um, I'm not sure what this place was at one point. And the GNC is gone. The GNC is gone now. And this is what's left of the old J.C. Penney's building. You can see in there. J.C. Penney's was actually in operation here in Effingham since 1978. So it's been in business for quite a while. And it closed a few years ago. Uh, GNC's gone. I don't know when that went out. Uh, Zales. This is what's left of Zales. Um, this place is gone. You can look right inside there. Nothing left. And this is where they had they held the uh, wait. Oh, this was a uh, church thing, helping people change lives. Right over here is where they held the Weight Watchers program, and they still do. It looks like there's an old Bissell Power Force over there, or Clean View, and that's an old commercial vacuum there. <laughs> yeah, that's an old commercial vacuum. So now it's just pretty much become a storage thing. Uh, they did have the Christmas stuff set up in the main strip here the last time I was here. Uh, they, uh, they started tearing parts of this place down, uh, especially where areas where the old Rural King building was. Uh, they started ripping out the, the uh, loading docks. And this probably, probably this half of the building is going to get KO'd. Um, Brown's Drug Store used to be here at one point. Then another store went in. And now uh, Brown's Town, uh, the Brown's Drug Store is now located uptown. Um, right here is the Hallmark Shop, Curlins, the farmer of Curlins. Uh, this place has been empty for a very long time. You can see in here, this was where the Beanie Babies were. This was the Beanie Baby shop. Um, this was a shoe store at one point. And the only thing that's accessible in here is the restrooms. Um, and that's what's left in the fitting room area back in the back. This was uh, the former shoe sensation is what this was. Right there, for lease there. And there was a resale shop here, and now Night Terrors is here. Um, 
double furniture, a double feature antiques and collectible store. Nothing left here. It hasn't been open in a long time. As you can see, it's pretty much a cluster. You know what? And this was a resale shop too. Where they got person sold like CDs and stuff like that. Had a 70s coin pusher right there by the window. And then the only place left here really is Malibu Net Nails. It's the only place left in here. Um, you know, it's a pretty sad uh, thing here, especially when people come in and play the claw, claw machines and do videos like I do. Um, that's the only reason why I did what I did, because Lord only knows how long the claw machines are even going to be here. Uh, it is a sad thing that this mall has come to this. Um, all I know is it's going to cost well over 400 k to uh, uh, repair the roof on this place, even get it to back where it should have been. Um, yeah, it's it's a sad sight, guys. Sad sight for me, guys. It's just as a kid, I used to come in here with my dad, me and my younger brother. The arcade used to be way down at the other end there. Um, as a kid, me, you know, growing up in the '90s, and me being born in '89, you know, as I was growing up, you know, about around oh, I don't know, '94, '95, when I started playing games with my dad, I would always come and watch him, um, but then I got old enough to where I can start playing, you know, I always used to play pinball and air hockey a lot, um, but you know, it's just nothing but memories now, it's, it's sad to see that this mall has pretty much died out, pretty sad guys. Maybe the last time you see a claw video or a winter's key video from this location because of Lord only knows how long this place is going to be open. But, uh, if you find a look at the black tie toys, the winter's key, and uh, the toy soldier, and slam dunk. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Drop a like, comment down below, subscribe for more videos. Got some nice content for you guys coming up. It will take me a few days to get them all uploaded. So, uh, throughout the span of the next several days, I will be uploading the content that I have filmed today. And, uh, yeah. Until then, I'm your host, Captain Namco, saying thanks for watching, y'all. You know, like I said, it's a sad thing. The only place that's going to be probably left is the theater. That's going to be the only, only tall place left here. Otherwise, it's all going to be up the Gophers. But until then, I'll see y'all in the next video on Friday, next week, hopefully. Take care. Stay safe, everybody. And I'll see you next time.